Batman has only got seconds to launch out of the Batmobile. Mm -hmm. Will he make it? Three, two, one! Yeah! <laughs> What's going on, Batman fans? I'm Josh. And I'm Kiara. Today with us, we have our amazing Bat computer, Penny One. Greetings, and welcome to Batman Science Lab, where we test the science behind Batman's crime-fighting technology. We've been learning about all of his amazing tech as members of the Night Watch, Penny One's new program, encouraging people like you and me from all around the world to hone our skills and be everyday heroes. Right. Batman's vehicles happen to be some of my favorite technology, and sometimes he's got to make a quick escape, so he uses... Ejector seats! Yeah. I love when Batman shoots out of the Batmobile, and then his cape glider pops out, and he's all like... Whoosh, whoosh. It's so awesome! Penny One, show them a cool clip of Batman using his ejector seats. I would say this is a pretty cool piece of tech. I would too, Penny One. Most ejector seats, including some of Batman's, uses rocket power to propel itself up and out of the vehicle. Now, we don't have rockets lying around the lab, so we're gonna be using a model that uses air compression to do the same thing. This is the science behind propelling an object into the air using air compression. Kiara, do you know what compression means? Isn't it when you push something together really tight? Correct, and as the number of molecules increases, the amount of mass also increases in that space. So, what is mass? That is a great question. Mass just means the amount of matter that an object contains. So the mass of this Batmobile is just how much matter that it has. Oh, so I have mass. You're right, you got mass. I've got mass, Batman's got mass. Everything made out of matter has mass. As the mass increases, like you said, it starts cramming all of these molecules into a small space. And this creates pressure. And pressure just means a bunch of energy in that one space. So all these molecules, they, they gotta go somewhere, right? So they start pushing with tremendous force against the container that surrounds them. So, if I were to blow up a balloon with too much air, it would pop? Yes, so with air pressure, all we're doing is shoving all these air molecules into a space to create energy. And once it's released, all of that energy comes shooting out. Does that make any sense? Yeah, so with this ejector seat, we can use air compression to build up energy and shoot the seat out of the vehicle. That's right, and we're gonna test that out today. So let's see if we can make our own ejector seat right here in the lab. All right, so for the purpose of our experiment, we've had our team create this really cool air compressor launcher. It looks amazing, but what exactly are we testing? All right, so Batman needs his ejector seat to launch at just the right height. Now, if it's too high, he'll launch into the Gotham City skies. And if it's too low, he'll still be in danger. So we're gonna test what the right amount of pressure is to get him out safely. So what do we do? Great question. So we've already got him sitting in his ejector seat. We're gonna pretend it's in the Batmobile because that's my favorite. Mine too. All right. Now, I'm an adult and an expert, okay? So please do not try this at home. And since we're launching something for extra safety measures, we're gonna have Kiara stand behind this wonderful plexiglass surface. We're gonna do this in two different steps. One, you are gonna pump air into this compressor and it's here in the compressor where all the air molecules are gonna get pressurized. And then I'm gonna hit this nozzle and release the air molecules against the seat where it'll push it upwards. Do you know what force launches the seat upwards? Thrust. Right, so we're here to figure out how much pressure is needed to get the right amount of thrust. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, step on up. Okay, so I'm gonna hold you steady here. Give it one good pump, we'll see what that does. Ooh, all right, let me have you stand behind the glass just in case. Okay, I'm gonna have you count me down, ready? Okay, three, two, one. Ooh. Okay. Okay, well, one pump wasn't enough. Now we know we're gonna need more. Exactly, so let's try 10 PSI. So you see that little gauge right there? Okay. PSI is pounds of pressure per square inch. Let's see if we can get 10 in there. Kiara there we always go. takes her vitamins. She's super <laughs> strong. All right, we're standing behind the glass. We're getting in. All right, count me in, Kira. Three, two, one. Oh, oh okay. All right, well. That was not that bad, but we are going to need a lot more PSI. Yeah, he didn't get enough lift, not enough thrust. Okay, so not 10. Look on the gauge. What are you, what are you feeling? What's calling to you? Maybe 50 PSI. All right, 50 go PSI. Go make or go home. Okay, I like that attitude. We are scientists. Let's experiment. All right, are you ready to pump up some 50 PSI? Yep. This is gonna be a workout. I think you can do it. We're getting there. Almost there. 
Ooh, look at all these air molecules getting pressurized. And one more for good measure. Miss Kira, can I have you behind the glass, please? All right, count me off. Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> that was awesome! That went so high. I thought that was gonna hit the roof of this thing. Okay. So that was cool, but I think it went a little too high. I was just gonna say the same thing. So there's gotta be some sort of middle ground. What do you think? We, that was 50, 10 didn't, was too low. Maybe split in half, 30 PSI? You wanna go, okay, split the difference. I like that. Let's do 30 PSI. Do that in here. Okay, can you get 30? Let's see, Let's can see. I? <laughs> there you go. Ew, for all the money. Kira, are you ready? Count me yeah. down. Three, two, one. Oh, okay, <laughs> that was perfect. Seriously, it looks like it didn't go too high where it almost hit the ceiling. Or too low where he was still in danger. Yeah, I think right there at 30 PSI, I think that's just the right amount of thrust to get Batman away safely. I think that deserves a high five. You know what, I second that. Boom. That was awesome. Now, Kiara, what did we learn today? We learned that when molecules are pressed together, it creates pressure, which helps build up energy. And the name of the force that pushes an object through the air is called thrust. You need to get the right amount of pressure and the right amount of thrust so he can use his ejector seats perfectly. Yeah, and of course he does, because he's Batman. And then he would just have his cape glider and he would go whoosh, <laughs> as he flies over Gotham City. Classic Batman. But you know what? I think we did a pretty good job with our ejector seat. Don't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Batman Science Lab. You can find more awesome Batman content here on the DC Kids channel. And... Whoa! Oh, oh my goodness! That was awesome!